Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Today we've got a new quest which provides us a decent amount of Zenny, Hunter Rank, and Armor Sphere. So if you're looking for a quest to quickly level up your armor, uh, you can go ahead and go to the events board here and you'll see that we have a new event which will be lasting a week from right now. Well, about like an hour ago. And uh, it's called Rolling with the Uragon. So you have to fight two Urigan, which isn't really too bad in the Elder's Recess, and you have uh, three feints to be able to complete this. It's really not too bad. And you can see there we get 23,400 Zenny as a reward. Now, 23,400 Zenny isn't too bad, but there's one thing that you're going to want to bring with you to drastically improve the amount of money you're going to make from this quest, which is your Bandit Mantle, which is going to be very, very good for this particular quest because they do drop the higher level scales, which are going to sell for more money. For those of you that don't know how the Bandit Mantle works, uh, it'll drop scales depending on how much damage you do, so I highly recommend using whatever weapon you can do the most damage with in the shortest amount of time, and that way you will get the most uh, lustrous scales as possible. Now, they are kind of hard to see in this particular spot, so just keep in mind that they probably are dropping, but you're going to have to like walk right over them to get the icon, because they really like to hide inside of the little rocks. Now, I also recommend actually going to pick them up because they will despawn in a short amount of time. So I highly recommend just going around and picking them up every little chance that you get, uh, while also not wasting too much time so your bandit mantle does not run out. But otherwise, just go ahead and try and do as much damage as humanly possible. And if you can get a group of four people, obviously three and then you, um, you'll be able to get quite a bit of money because having four people with the bandit mantle will be absolutely amazing. You guys will be raking in the dough, freaking Scrooge McDuck and materials. So anyways, just make sure you pick up all your parts. And you'll be good to go. Let's see how much money we get just from selling all the parts. Now, as far as the armor spheres go, we got two advanced armor spheres. Uh, so one, two, three, or four, sorry. Uh, four advanced armor spheres. And then uh, what was that? Four regular armor spheres, so not too bad. And we can sell all the parts for 44,000 zenny. Now, this completion time took 12 minutes, and that's because I had to chase the damn thing around quite a bit. Uh, so that's a little unfortunate, but you should be able to kill both of these significantly faster than 12 minutes. So, uh, 44,000 zenny. And in this particular party, I believe we had one person faint, yeah. But you get a decent amount of hunter rank in here as well. Obviously, if you do this solo, you'll make more money from the quest as well. Now, let's see how much money we actually made from the lustrous scales. You go to sell items. If you guys don't know where they are, they are just back here. I would recommend sorting your items. And then you can always find them right at the end. Uh, so let's see here. I got eight from that particular quest. Not that great. Would have been better if I got some more hits. And obviously, the more people you have in the party, the more lustrous scales you'll actually get, which will be significantly better. So, uh, 24,000 zenny. Not too bad. So that's 68,000 zenny just from the items that we sold from the Urigan, as well as the Lustrous Scale. So depending on if you're soling it or doing it in a party, you can make anywhere between, I would say, uh, 70 and uh, 100,000 zenny, depending. Uh, especially if you get more Lustrous Scales and you have a little bit better luck than I did. Now, unfortunately, if you have some bad luck like I did, you might encounter an Urgen that literally just wants to run around the entire Elder's Recess while you try and follow it, and it's probably the most aggravating thing ever, and it'll drastically increase the amount of time that it'll take you to actually finish the quest. Now, hopefully that doesn't happen to you. Now, if you don't have bad luck, you can see that you get it done significantly faster. I've done this in groups and solo, and it's just really dependent on if the Urgen decides to run all over, sorry, roll all over the map or not. We got this one done in seven minutes, which is significantly better and a decent return on money as well. But you can also see that the armor spheres are random. I've captured and not captured, and it doesn't seem to matter if you capture them or not. Although if I've captured both, then I've gotten the most that way. Uh, we did get two of the hard ones and three of the regular ones, which isn't that great, uh, but I've had much better luck as well. 
So all in all, it's not the worst event quest that we've gotten so far. If you need to level up your armor, this is a decent way to farm up armor spheres relatively quickly. Obviously, there's probably some better ways to do it, but you can also get a quite a bit of money from this as well as hunter rank and a significant amount of money if you are doing this with a group of people that have the bandit mantle. So make sure to grab your friends and family force them to run this with you with a bandit mantle and you guys will be freaking scrooge mcducking it all over the place uh, but otherwise it's probably not the best event that we've gotten so far but it's what we got this week so i'm gonna be farming it up because i got tons of stuff to farm anyways i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye